Hello, I'm Father Edward Looney. It's noon central, and I invite you to stand, and we'll begin by praying the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared to Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us for the celebration of the Holy Mass today at the Chapel of the Nativity, located at the offices of Relevant Radio in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Again, I'm Father Edward Looney, and delighted to be able to celebrate Mass with all of you who are listening through the radio, or watching through the Relevant Radio app, or online at relevantradio.com. Mary said, My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, because the Lord has looked on his lowly handmaid. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. As we gather on this final day of ordinary time, let us honor the Blessed Virgin Mary, and we do so first by calling to mind our sins and so preparing ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who are pleased to choose Blessed Mary as the virginal chamber where your word would dwell, Grant, we pray, that under her protection we may participate joyfully in her commemoration through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. I, Daniel, found my spirit anguished within its covering of flesh, and I was terrified by the visions of my mind. I approached one of those present and asked him what all this meant in truth. In answer, he made known to me the meaning of the things. These four great beasts stand for four kingdoms, which shall arise on the earth. But the holy ones of the Most High shall receive the kingship, to possess it forever and ever. But I wished to make certain about the fourth beast, so very terrible and different from the others, devouring and crushing with its iron teeth and bronze claws and trampling with its feet what was left, about the ten horns on its head and the other one that sprang up, before which three horns fell, about the horn with the eyes and the mouth that spoke arrogantly, which appeared greater than its fellows. For as I watched, that horn made war against the holy ones and was victorious until the ancient one arrived. Judgment was pronounced in favor of the holy ones of the Most High, and the time came when the holy ones possessed the kingdom. 
He answered me thus, The fourth beast shall be a fourth kingdom on earth, different from all the others. It shall devour the whole earth, beat it down and crush it. The ten horns shall be ten kings rising out of that kingdom. Another shall rise up after them, different from those before him who shall lay low three kings. He shall speak against the Most High and oppress the holy ones of the Most High, thinking to change the feast days and the law. They shall be handed over to him for a year, two years, and a half year. But when the court is convened and his power is taken away by final and absolute destruction, then the kingship and dominion and majesty of the kingdoms under the heavens shall be given to the holy people of the Most High, whose kingdom shall be everlasting. All dominions shall serve and obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Give glory and eternal praise to him. You sons of man, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Cleanse my heart and my lips, Almighty God, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you may have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life, and that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times, and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent, and to stand before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Through the words of the Gospel, may our sins be wiped away. Well, on this Saturday... Before we begin the season of Advent tomorrow, it's fitting and right for us to call to mind the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who we honor and think about during the season of Advent, especially in the joyful mysteries of the Rosary. And on Monday, November 29th, the Church will remember, not as a liturgical feast, but just as an anniversary the beginning of a series of Marian apparitions in Belgium, in Borang. And these apparitions began on November 29, 1932, and continued to January 3, 1933. The Blessed Virgin Mary appeared, three to- or appeared 33 times to these individuals, to the five children. They were the, of the Dejembre and of the Voisin family. And the children uh, who received these messages, uh, they, they received very simple messages. Our Lady told them, for example, to always be good, to pray, pray very much, pray always. Mary said, I will convert sinners. Very simple messages that she gave to these children. And as we hear in our gospel today, 
That day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent. And really, I think that Our Lady can help us prepare for what will be the end times. Our Lady can help us prepare for the end of our own life or the end of the world, whichever one comes first. Because as we know, throughout the history of our faith, the Blessed Virgin has appeared many, many times. She's appeared and spoken messages to these different visionaries. Our Lady of Guadalupe to St. Juan Diego. And by that message, and we'll celebrate Juan Diego and Our Lady of Guadalupe in the month of December. But by that message of Our Lady there, converting hundreds upon thousands of individuals to the Catholic faith by that message that she spoke, by the image that was impressed upon the tilma. St. Louis de Montfort, who lived in the late 1600s into the early 1700s, spoke about an age of Mary and that the age of Mary would usher in another time. And so some think that maybe that time that St. Louis de Montfort has talked about might be now, that we've lived in an unprecedented time of Marian apparitions, both approved and also those that are alleged to have happened. We can only think about the 1800s when Our Lady appeared so many times. She appeared to Catherine Labore in Rudebach. She appeared uh, in, in Pont Maine. She appeared in La Salette. She appeared in Lourdes. She came in Wisconsin to the little village of Champion, which is called today, and spoke her message to Adele. And so in that great age, even in the 1800s, and then you had Our Lady of Knock, proceeding then into the 1900s, Our Lady of Fatima in 1917, you had the apparitions of Barang and then Bonneau, both in Belgium, both in the 1930s. These apparitions of Our Lady have continued to happen. And in a sense, the messages are always meant to prepare us. They're to prepare us to meet the Lord whenever that might happen. When she told those children in Borang to pray, pray very much, pray always. She was reminding them never to lose hope in God. And we hear that in our gospel. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength. And so we persevere in our prayer every day that we might have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. The messages of Our Lady are acts of preparation. And tomorrow, with the season of Advent beginning, we will have the opportunity to prepare our hearts and our minds and our souls for the celebration of Christmas over the next four weeks that we have of Advent until Christmas Day when we welcome the Christ child in the manger. And just as we prepare for his coming at Christmas we always keep our hearts and our minds and our souls ready to welcome Jesus at any moment when he might come to us. Let us now offer our prayers and petitions to God, our Heavenly Father. For Pope Francis and his intentions, and for an increase in vocation to so the priesthood and consecrated life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in the world and for an end to all terrorism and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation and for all our government leaders, that they will protect and defend the fundamental rights to life and religious freedom for all, we pray to the Lord. For strong marriages and family life, that couples will embrace their vocation to growing in love for each other and raising their children to be disciples in the faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died, for our loved ones and for our family members, and for all of the souls in purgatory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our St. Joseph, St. Gabriel, St. Nicholas, and Guardian Angel Society members, for all of our listeners and supporters, that Our Lady of Guadalupe will intercede for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O Lord, our God, open our hearts to receive your grace and your mercy, 
so that we will be ready to welcome you in our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offerings your people make in commemoration of Blessed Mary be acceptable to you, O Lord, for by her virginity she pleased you, and in humility conceived your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of her virginity, she brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord, through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit graciously to make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and this living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim 
by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints in whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, with the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people that you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. <laughs> thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. <clears throat> Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection, mind, a body, and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Mary treasured all these words, reflecting on them in her heart. The body of Christ.
For those of you watching or listening, this would be a good time to make a spiritual communion. I wish my Lord to receive you with the purity, humility, and devotion with which your most holy mother received you, with the spirit and the fervor of the saints. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of this spiritual food, we pray, O Lord, that steadily imitating the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always be found intent on service of the church and may know the joys of doing your will through Christ our Lord. Well, thank you for joining us for the celebration of the Holy Mass today here at Relevant Radio. I hope that you'll join us again tomorrow. At the same time, noon central for the celebration of the Mass. And be sure to join Father Rocky tonight for the Family Rosary Across America at 7 p.m. Central. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O Lady of good health, our merciful Father chose you to be a powerful intercessor in times of trouble and woe. As in past centuries, when you have interceded to end contagious diseases, we implore you now to end the coronavirus, which is damaging the health of many and spreading fear in our communities. Teach us not to be afraid, to be courageous and generous in offering our assistance to others, and to live joyfully in the state of grace. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now, at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray the memorari for an end to abortion. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do we come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. I invite you to join me in singing Sing of Mary, number 748. Sing of Mary, pure and lowly, Virgin Mother undefiled. Sing of God's own Son most holy, who became her little child. Fairest child of fairest mother, God the Lord who came to earth. Word made flesh, our very brother, takes our nature by his birth. Sing of Jesus, son of Mary, in the home at Nazareth. Toil and labor cannot weary, Love enduring unto death. Constant was the love he gave her, Though he went forth from her side, Forth to preach and heal and suffer, Till on Calvary he died.